Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay. So this time we are playing Samuel Ma Tch, Manual of Samuel. Yes, I say that pro correctly, I think. Uh, so I have games in my Steam library that I don't even remember buying or having them. And this is one of them. It looks cute, so I wanted to play it. <laughs> That's about it. Well, I have no idea what this is about, so I'm just going to start. A, okay. Yeah. Single player. Oh, I can play co op, but maybe I should ask my friend. Uh, I have no idea if my friends have this game. Let's go story mode. Is this a DLC? Let's see. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, all seems fine. Let's go, story mode. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. <laughs> Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. <laughs> but a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. Damn, I'm jealous. And their butlers. And their butlers' parents. Wow. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend. Also, not being heard by Sam. Oh. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday oh, for the that's third the worst. year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Break up. Whoa. <laughs> That's more than I expected. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Um, RT. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. <laughs> oh. Boy. How dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold. Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? What's the difference? Sam remembers the one thing he's good at paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Um, what's LB? Oh, this one. Sam pays the guy 500 euros, barely covering the coffee. What? Thanks for the tip, douchebag. 500 is not enough? Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. Oh no. He really was hit hard in the head. Well, uh, you wouldn't want that. 
How do I turn around again? Oh, there. Should I? No. Let's go. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with... As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam oh, with no. an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Faces. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> Wait, did that carpet spell feces? <laughs> Here we are, Manuel Samuel. Oh, this is all very cute. I hope they are still, they are not still single. Oh, is he sent to hell? To the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam. But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. Oh no. Poor guy. Wait, does he have to take a bus into the inner hall or what? Sam decides to walk the wrong way. Oh. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then, he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out that horrible sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the screaming souls around him. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise. The Grim Reaper. Death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> you must be Sam from the imp I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? I man, it decided. Wait, I didn't see The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency. Followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. Tough life. <laughs> if you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. We love hell. <laughs> Dear 
here, sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. Oh my. For most people, this is okay. But for Sam, it's horrifying. No, he it's horrifying. He shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Oh, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse. Whatever. Kind of sounds fun. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... A struggling freelance artist. Oh no. And that'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, looks like it's time for lunch, dear sirs and madams. Uh, take all your concern related concerns up with upper management. See you in five hours. Oh boy. <laughs> this is I real life. It's still. Sam has seen enough. He goes back to death and his deal. Oh, fine. I can buy those t-shirts. I love hell. Fine. Wait, why aren't you walking now? Walk. Walk. He keeps the last shred. For the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I bro. I only get to do these deals annually. He's shady. But I don't think he's really like a Grim this, Reaper. You have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Wait, he was speaking in rhymes? <laughs> Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? <laughs> Can you hear me? Um, <laughs> blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Aight, so, this here be the deal in biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. X? Oh no. All right, bitchin'. You be blinking and breathing. That be bitchin'. So, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. Wait, what? And once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude. You be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. Oh my. He decides to blink. Hi, let's see. Oh. Yeah. Hi, let's see. No. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 
Nerf, right. Blink, Sam! Blink! Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Nerf. Your spine, Sam. It matters. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. He has to cough. <laughs> blink, Sam. Blink! Controls. Blink, Sam. With yes. clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. Oh. He won't for at least twenty minutes. <laughs> oh. Sam tries to take a leak. Hey, dude, have you seen my? Oh. Uh. Blink, Sam. Blink. Sam takes a leak everywhere, including, but not limited to, himself. No, this is so hard. One empty bladder later, Sam moves on. Blink, Sam, blink! Oh, yes, yes, I know. And breathe. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Blink, Sam! Blink! <gasps> Sam is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. And empty, Sam decides to find some clues. Oh, brief. Oh, oh my. How hard is it to blink, Sam? Let's see here. Yeah! Yeah! Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. This is so high. Um, yeah. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? He picks a pair of blue jeans, the ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. I never Feeling knew that putting on pants could be ever. so difficult. He proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do.
He settles for a mediocre one. Humble. Uh, why? Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. <gasps> no. Puts on his shoes, living the dream of having shoes on. Okay, oh boy. Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. Okay, good. Now brave. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He has no time for playing with a Flappy Rooster right now, though. No, he has time. was either supposed to or not supposed to happen. We'll never know. Great. <laughs> that was not useful at all. Green. Following the story me. this time, and gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy! I'm home! Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? I can only concentrate on doing so many things at once. Oh boy. There is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mark. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. With some coffee in his system, Sam finds it easier to exist. It out the front I can't believe this game is so stressful. Terrified. Stupid. Dude, 
I am totally gonna kick flip over your car. Wait, the arcade machine is still flying in the background. It was like that when I got there. Sure. You might want to get that hood fixed. It, it be loose. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just take it. Oh. I, f I finally feel with hey, This dude, is gonna be bad, I isn't it? automatic gearbox into a manual one for no. the funds. That'd be ironic or what? At this point, Sam notices that Dev isn't really a nice guy. I guess I should teach you how to drive a stick, huh? <laughs> Aye, so, when starting the car, you want to press down the clutch pedal. Nobody has clutched anything for years. Good luck, sir. Wait, uh, RT the clutch? Now, while you have the clutch down, press the gas pedal. As you let go of the clutch, the car will start moving in bits. Good job, dude. You ain't as useless as you look, know what I mean? Now, to stop, you gotta move your right foot to the brake pedal. Left for us, he means. And obviously, press it down. Give stopping a go, dude. Wait, I need to breathe. Might be easier to just pause. Nice. Now, start driving again, like I showed you. Obviously, you turn left and right with your arms. If you want to drive faster, you gotta use the stick, baby. To upshift, you press down the clutch and then yank the stick. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, uh, uh. Obviously, you can't turn left when your hand be on the stick. So to turn left, you have to move your hand back to the steering wheel, y'all. And so Sam and the Lord of Damnation are on their merry way towards a new adventure. Together, cozy. Dude, there be an old lady on the road. We almost killed that lady. She ain't due for another... A few hours. Listen, if you kill somebody before their time because I messed up your motoring skills, I will be in deep feces, okay? So keep your eyes on the road. If you almost kill someone, I'll stop the car, yo. But then, you'll have to start it all over again with the clutching biz, right? Be good to go. Anyway, dude, you're probably wondering why all this biz be happening to you. To tell you the truth, bro, it be all part of bureaucratic bull feces. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell, yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell and Satan. Oh, yeah, dude. Yo, go right. Oh, as I was saying, oh yeah, dude, the big S. The then, big S. The Bank of Hell distributes their share as salary among the citizens of Hell. Do you know how much my salary be? A little less than a burger flipper at Mickey Demons, yo. Mickey and Demons. a little more <laughs> than an elementary yo. Let Holy feces! Anyway. A little less than a burger flipper I'm not going to demons, yo, and a little use the stick at all. Than an elementary Let's just go with 40. Teacher. You know what I be saying? Up high. Never mind. 
A soul has one, maybe two shreds on him, depending on his life quality. And I don't want to point bright, yo. Close one. As I was saying. And I don't want to point fingers, but someone here be a spoiled brat, bro. Dude, you had seven shreds. You have any idea how rare that be? I be scamming. I mean, making deals with ratty souls that have mad holy feces. Anyway, I be scamming. I mean, making deals with ratty souls that have more than two shreds of life for an eternity, yo. And I only got 295 shreds of life, bro. That gray cloud in the middle of the road. Wait, what? Oh, feces! That'd be a whole school of old ladies. Get ready! Left! Ah! Right! Ah! Left! Ah! Right! Ah! Yo! Ah! What be up with all those old ladies today, bro? I know, right? Hey, Sam. Never gonna make it to work on time with all these grannies everywhere, dude. What do you say we take a shortcut? <laughs> Left, yo. And so Sam drives the car to a place he has never been before. A place called Bridge Street. Oh, oh, oh dude. I hope it be safe here. Hope there be no, say, Crazy gang members here or nothing? Oh no. No, really though. Where be the crazy gang members? Oh, crazy gang members. Oh, excuse me. You be a crazy gang member? Stop calling out oh, to don't them. Don't worry. I know where the crazy gang members be. To Death's surprise and Sam's relief, the gang members are lying dead on the ground. Oh boy. This is when Death notices a distinct silhouette in the distance. What be the deal, bro? Why be there? Oh, feces. The silhouette is contention and enmity, bloodshed and hostility, strife and strike, struggle, battle, war. She is neither wearing dumb clothes nor doing kickflips. She is just standing there after a job well done. Oh, holy feces, holy feces, it be her. I'll be my breath. Just be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Okay. Just don't be yourself. I like that screen. I don't have to focus on breathing and blinking and stuff. Is this thing? Take me to the metro. Oh boy, back to breathing and blinking to and like driving. A bunch of people, knucklehead. I was, I was. But then I got bored, so now I hang out with my buddy Sammy here. Ain't it right, Sammy? We aim, buddy. Stop, dude. Okay, we can go. So instead of guiding endless amounts of confused souls to the afterlife, you waste time with this dumb, ugly mortal. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Want a cigarette? Uh, you are so annoying. You know I'm trying to quit. <sighs> Fine, give me one. I hate you. Go right here. Stop here. I'm so focused on breathing and blinking and driving. Okay. That I'm not even speaking at all. 
my goodness, this game. Hey, guess what? I totally landed a kickflip today. Take a left. Stop here. Oh, please don't be down. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go. Oh my god, I'm not good at multitasking. Wow, you really landed a kickflip? That's kind of hot. Yeah. Oh, well, I almost landed a kickflip. You know, famine can do a frontside kickflip. Such a show. Stop here. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, dang it, the grandma's be back. Stop with the grandmas. Yo, ah! Ah! right. Ah! Yo, go. Ah! Yo, ah! oh, I never be getting used to those grannies. Stop here. This is where I get off. Hi, babe. I see you around. Whatever. <sighs> what you be looking at? I'm not even looking oh, at anything. Snap. You be getting late for work, bro. Why do you think Step so? On it as hard as you can if we going to make it. Go, go, go. Okay, this is where I have to change gear. How do I change gear again? Faster, dude. Get up to fifth gear. Faster, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Wait, I don't remember the controls. Go faster, I don't remember the controls. Yo, faster, faster. Faster, dude. Get up to fifth gear. <laughs> I don't remember how. Yo, dude, faster. Yes, I'm trying. Yo, faster, faster. Wait, I can't. Yo, dude, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Yes, I know, I just can't. Yo, faster, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Yo, dude, faster. 
exactly. I don't remember the controls. Uh, we can have this. <laughs> yes, please. There's no hints. I need. Why oh, is fine? No. No. Oh no! I don't remember the controls. Can <laughs> I'm going to Google it. Um. <laughs> Manual, Samuel, um, change gear, <laughs> controls. This is so hard. What's the change gear? Wait, am I not the only person who has problem? Yo, faster, faster! Come on, change gear. Faster, dude. Get up to fifth gear. Yo, faster! Faster, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Oh, okay. Okay now. Oh, feces! Stop! Stop! Uh. Oh, fudge! Oh, uh, yeah. Did we kill somebody? Oh, please let it just be a rock or a hipster or something. Sam goes out the door to see what happened. Oh, he only has to follow Death's crying voice. Shred of light. No. Blink twice if yes. No, I'm not going to blink. I guess we're doing this. No, I refuse. I 
use the blink. You can keep on zooming in. That's Here unfair. We go. Let's do a deal that we can steal. Yada yada yada. Uh, slap your salmon 57 times in 24 hours, or you'll be dead forever. Now get out of here. Wait, that's so easy <laughs> compared to mine. I had to. Anyway, let's get out of here. Weird. <sighs> it's another busy day in Robocorp Inc where they produce automatic robots for fun, convenience, and most importantly, safety. Finally, Sam makes it to work, and only by having the most terrifying morning of his life. He waggles towards the entrance, still shaky after the events of his trip. Okay, I, I was too stressed from the car thing. I'm just going to stop here because the stressful, <laughs> the stressful. Does it automatically save? I hope it does. Yes. Oh yeah, it does continue. Okay, that's good. This game. Too stressful. <laughs> that I'm not even speaking at all. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> until next time. I hope you guys have fun watching this. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs>